that drink in the view, people. Keep in mind that many of the tracks that you're seeing on the screen originated on the PlayStation Vita. It kind of blows my mind how much Wipeout Omega Collection has improved upon Wipeout 2048's contemporary courses. This compilation is good, but it isn't quite the perfect lap I was anticipating, and I'm going to explain why in this video review. Uh, but before I get into that, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation stuff. And without further ado, hey everyone, I'm Sammy from Push Square, and I'm going to review Wipeout Omega Collection for you, so let's get into it. So if you don't know, this compilation includes PlayStation 3 Institution, Wipeout HD Fury, and Vita launch title Wipeout 2048. It kind of collates them into a single package, but frankly it doesn't do a very good job of unifying them. Uh, while the two titles are obviously similar, they're also dramatically different when it comes to the small details, and that means you'll often be toggling between the two titles, even when setting up a multiplayer a lobby as far as I can tell. While this certainly isn't a deal breaker, I think there are strengths and weaknesses to each title. Uh, for example, I prefer the courses in 2048, uh, they're more contemporary compared to the full-on sci-fi of other titles, and they're also more complex with more shortcuts and alternate routes and stuff like that. And artistically, they just look phenomenal at double the frame rate and in 4K via the PS4 Pro. But I feel like 2048 as a game doesn't do as much with its amazing tracks as HD Fury does. I love some of the more imaginative modes in the latter, like the arcade shmup detonator and the risk reward brilliance of Zone Battle. But the courses in HD Fury are starting to feel really tired for me now, like I was thinking about this over the weekend, I think I got Wipeout Pure with my PSP on launch day back in like 2005 or something like that, so that game had Vanita K and a lot of the other courses in HD Fury in it, and this is the fourth game they've been recycled in if my calculations are correct. And while they're still undeniably good tracks, it's just one game too many for me, I was 16 for good goodness sake when I first started playing some of these tracks. Nevertheless, while there's been no shortage of anti-grav racing pretenders, let's be honest here, Wipeout is the best, and that's still the case here. The game just feels so smooth, with flawless control response paired with a blistering sense of speed, making for some of the highest octane racing you'll find on consoles today. Modes like Zone are still absolutely brilliant and you really get into a trance-like state as you play at some of the higher speeds. I will say though that the campaigns, of which there are three in total, do take a little while to get going properly. I appreciate the need to ease new players in, but the first batch of events are yawn-inducingly slow. Fortunately, you'll be racing quicker than you can think once you've made a bit of progress, and there's always race box if you want to get straight to the good stuff. Uh, this essentially allows you to create your own events and tournaments which can be played either solo or in split screen. I mean, this review is probably sounding a little bit negative, but I really don't mean it to come across that way. I love the visuals and the way that this game plays, I just couldn't fight the feeling of familiarity as I played through, no matter how much I tried. Maybe that's a consequence of me playing the absolute crap out of HD Fury on the PS3, but it is what it is. For as frantic and as fun as the action is, it also seems the teensiest bit tired to me. They absolutely can't recycle this content again, so they either need to bin the brand off or make something new now. I guess I should say that there is a new team in this game, uh, that's the Tigron. Uh, they kind of offer very fast but heavy crafts, and if you pre-order you can also get the Van Uber, which is returning from Wipeout Fusion, I believe. And I guess I should mention the soundtrack as well, which is a Wipeout soundtrack, and that means that it sounds like the sort of trance music you'd expect to find playing on Babe Station while a scantily clad lady shakes a phone at the television screen. I mean, this is a defining feature of Wipeout, right, and it works. Uh, it's never really been my kind of music personally though, but hey, opinions and all that. 
So do I recommend Wipeout Omega Collection? Actually yes, I may have sounded like a grumpy git in this video, but that's just because I really love Wipeout and I'm super passionate about the franchise and I wanted to like this more than I think I do. It plays great, it looks great and if you've never played 2048 or HD Fury then you're in for an absolute treat, but if you've put hundreds of hours into those games then just be warned that it will feel very familiar. And I mean that's true of all remasters right, but this is the first one where it's really hit me. Anyway let me know whether you'll be picking this up in the comments section below and remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for much more PlayStation goodness, and until next time, thank you so much for watching.